Hey guys, Mr. Idol Hack here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing for you the Corsair CX750F RGB power supply ATX one. So, uh, yeah, this goes for ninety pounds, I believe, right now. It's back to normal price, which is ninety pounds. Uh, I got it at sixty-two pounds or something. The first one actually got stolen. This is the second one I had to buy, which is shitty, because the first one it was sent by uh, Amazon actually themselves, but uh, the donkey driver left it at the front door, and yeah, he left it at the front door in plain view sight, this is where you can see this very expensive component of a PC in a bright yellow box, obviously someone's going to take it aren't they, that's what happened, someone took it, so now, <coughs> Uh, I complained to send me a new one out, so yeah, we've got a new one. So, this is the Corsair CX750 FRGB, uh, black. You can also get this in white. Uh, Corsair, if you want to sponsor me, thank you very much. If you can, they said they would, but I don't know. I don't, I highly doubt it. But yeah, like I said, this is the 80 plus bronze. Uh, so, this is the lowest tier you can get in terms of efficiency. But efficiency wise I'm not the one paying the electric bill so <laughs> it's not really it doesn't really bother me too much but yeah obviously the better higher it is the better it is so if you get a silver gold there's also platinum is there diamond I don't know something like that titanium that's it platinum then titanium so titanium is the highest I believe that's the most efficient but yeah, this is the only RGB Corsair does, RGB power supply that Corsair does, by the way, <coughs> in this watts. So 750 means 750 watts, okay, which uh, should be enough, hopefully, for me. So with the power supply, if you don't know already, if you use less power, say you got weaker hardware in there, you won't use that full 750 watts. It only uses whatever it needs, whereas the other issue is other way around is where you have too much power load and they can't handle it it'll just restart itself basically and shut down on you so yeah hopefully we don't encounter that we should be okay with my hardware because i'm not planning to get anything higher than a 30 30 70 30 80 equivalent <coughs> okay so this is for my gaming bill by the way i'm buying all the uh, pc parts on discount heavy discount so yeah if you haven't checked out my case unboxing go check it out it'll either be before this video or after this video so this is atx so if you don't know what atx is it's a case case wise it's like the normal size so you got micro atx which is the mini one m a micro atx is m atx which is small that's for small cases this is atx which is a normal case you got extended atx which is e atx uh, so that's just a bigger ATX, which this will fit in anyway, because yeah, it's the same size, it's just bigger. <coughs> Sorry, boys, guys. Uh, what was I gonna say? So yeah, this is the ATX one. There is some other ATX shit, but uh, they're the main ones I just said. All right. So this is a nice, cool design of this box. I like it. Corsair Power Play. Oof. Uh, there was a wrapping on this. I took it off because it had all the stuff on it. So. Took it already off, so I guess it was the headache. Alright, let's see what's on the back. Oh, it's a very heavy box by the way, so this is everything you get with the with it. You get one ATX cable, one EPS ATX cable, 8 pin, one PCIe, two PCIe cables, which is good, one PATA, one SATA. PATA? People still do PATA cables. Hmm. Okay, we got SATA cables, two of them. I would have preferred to have more SATA cables than anything, but you know. Uh, IQ RGB. And your motherboard, motherboard RGB as well. ARGB. So most of this build is going to be ARGB stuff, so. Yeah, ARGB. Very good, very good. Okay. The ARGB is basically addressable RGB. So you got normal RGB, which is just light up. ARGB means you can plug it into your motherboard that has RGB support. ARGB support <coughs> and you can sync all the lights up together 
to be one color and stuff uh, you can control it with software and stuff that's the benefit of ARGB and it uses less volts I believe 5 5 volts I believe instead of 12 volts which RGB uses okay alright let's have a look at the bottom alright so this is all the stuff I don't know if they give you a cable though a kettle cable so obviously to go into there to power the thing so I'm have to buy one of them let's see if they give one hopefully they have it would make sense to give one but you know sometimes they don't so 80 plus bronze efficiency only 85 percent efficiency so it's not the best in efficiency wise <coughs> so where it does say 750 watts you might use a bit more when you're running it because it's not very efficient but it is what it is okay so 120 millimeter rgb fan with eight individual yes that's very nice compatible with the iq software which is the corsair's uh, rgb software okay 105 degrees you can do and the japanese capacitors japanese are good they're very reliable microsoft modern standby support god knows what that is okay so ultra no low noise oh let's have a look here okay so 80 plus efficiency what the hell does any of this mean i have no idea so it's the most efficient around 40 percent efficiency it seems with 100 percent load it goes the efficiency goes worse and worse so when you're touching that 750 watt power so power usage <coughs> this will use it'll be less efficient basically i think it's be better on idle i'm not sure but yeah i don't understand all that but yeah hopefully someone does okay fan noise so the higher you go obviously the more power you use, the more the fans will be running louder and louder. So yeah, okay, so these are the AC inputs. Uh, 100 to 240 volts input current, okay. Do, 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 do. This is how it all splits off and stuff. So combined the power is 750 watts, which is normal. <coughs> Sorry guys, I have a very bad cough. Okay. One thing with this is... Uh, when you do install it, it will be facing, the RGB fans will be facing the floor actually. If you install it the normal way. Which it should be installed like that, but... If you want it to face inside your case so you can actually see it. You can either have it as an underglow or inside your case, which will be worse on cooling. But uh, if you have enough case fans and stuff, it should be alright. So it shouldn't be too much of a headache. But yeah, let's go ahead and open this now. Waffle done for quite a bit. <coughs> Sorry guys. Come on. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, yes, they give a kettle cable. Thank you very much. So, if you don't know what this is, this is called a UK kettle cable. They're just the normal power supply cables They're used on monitors, PCs, sometimes even PlayStations. No, 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 PlayStation. How was I using that? I used one of these. It's a gaming console I used to have it. They use a kettle cable. Can't remember what it was though. So, yeah. It's a weird one that one but yeah give you cable ties nice of them got your quick start guide i think power supply guide oh that's very thick actually i think it'll be in different languages so safety protection everything it's got all the stuff that should be in the thing english let's see how, let's see how big this is fucking hell oh no it's not that big it's only a few pages it's just got every single language in can you see that's why which is all right important information let's have a look i think it'll be to do with the what the hell? electronics and stuff yeah. can't read that right now all right saline bag do not eat this guys that's just to keep moisture out because it's an electrical item okay this is all your cables sealed nicely so this is a modular one so what modular means is uh, you got modular i'll show you what that means oh i'll just explain it basically so on a normal on a modular one uh, power supply each part is separate so you got the wires separate from this whereas a uh, non-modular the wires will be already attached to this so you will have to it's a bit harder sometimes whereas with these ones 
you can make it exactly where you want the wire and wires you don't use you don't need to plug in do you know what i mean it's more clean look basically and less wires and stuff so it's really nice that's the better better stuff like newer ones that's that's how they all are modular and yeah modular is the way forward guys <clears throat> you can get half modular ones which some wires are attached some wires aren't i prefer full modular like this there's your argb cable i'll open all this in a bit let's have a look at the main device first put this to the side <clears throat> Right, nothing else in the box, just the power supply itself, you can see the fan there. Let's go ahead and open this. Uh, we're going to make a video installing this as well, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if you haven't seen the case video again, go check it out. Uh, motherboard's been uh, ordered, we'll be getting that soon. And yeah, we just need a CPU, RAM, GPU. Uh, so yeah, if anyone wants to sponsor me, let me know. Corsair, uh, they were going to sponsor me on the RAM, I think, I can't remember. But uh, they haven't got any new niche. They haven't got anything in stock for the marketing team, so yeah. Uh, what can I say? It's just a bad look. So, I guess we just wait. But secondly, uh, the graphics card I'm aiming for is a RX 7, 6750, I think, XT. Which is like the, it's AMD obviously, but uh, it's equivalent of... It's in between the 3070 and 3060 Ti, that's all it's in between, which is good for the money because it's only £400. Whereas the 3070 right now is retailing about 700 600 which is bullshit price, but that's how it is, that's how graphics cards are right now. So yeah, for about, three, three, about half the price almost, you can get almost as good graphics card, but it's an AMD one, but there's no issue with that. Uh, yeah. So I might do that, we might go that route, but I'll still keep an Intel CPU because I love Intel, you know, Intel gangsters. And I bought an Intel motherboard anyway, so I'm stuck with that anyway. <laughs> and let me pull this out now. Alright guys, so it is quite a chunky fella. If I do pull it out, it's going to drop, so I might just pull it out my hand. Oh no, I should be able to do it with one hand. Uh, my tripod is in my car still. Not the car car, but you know, it's my other car that I drive around, so yeah. So I don't have that, so yeah. That's the packaging. Just comes in normal packaging. Let me go ahead and open this. Now I'll need 100, I think, two ounce. Wow. What can I say? It's got that new power supply smell. <laughs> so yeah, here's a completely see through. There's your RGB button, so. If you don't connect it to anything, you can just uh, control it with this, so you'll change between the eight colors, I believe, I think it is. And there's your on and off button. you got your white fan there, so all the lights are inside of it. That's what light up. Ooh. Like, I would show you what it looks like, but... Would it work with it being not plugged into anything? Should I try you guys? I'll try you. Give you a second, guys. So you got the branding there on this side. There's all your ports. Okay, I'm put it upside down, guys. So like I said, this is how it would sit in the PC because it is that's the way up. Even though all the writing's the wrong way, that is the way it would be. Can you see how the cut-up cable is? This is how it should sit in your PC. So yeah, you got your motherboard cables there, PCIe CPU, CPU PCIe. SATA cables and PATA cables, RGB controllers if you need it. Okay. Alright. We'll have a look what's in here first and then we'll plug this in with nothing attached on this end. Hopefully it works and doesn't blow anything up uh, or kill me or you know or destroy itself or anything. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, it looks like very good build quality. Alright guys, so give me one second, I'll pull out all these cables so you can see what they look like. Alright guys, all the cables out. So yeah, that's your ARGB, ARGB um, what do you call it, connector. So this will go into the RGB section, which is there. Oh no, it doesn't. Or does it? Or doesn't it? I don't know, it looks about the same. 
No. This ain't the right then. This ain't right. Hmm. But yeah, this end is ARGB anyway. So that's ARGB, that's RGB. It's a weird one that outside. So I'm not sure. I might have to buy a controller for this or something. Because yeah, that does not fit in there. Oh. You needed something that plugs in from that to this. Yeah. I've bought a... Wait a minute. Maybe. No, I'm not sure. Actually, it might be this. Let me have a look. A RGB in. Yeah. So one side RGB goes in there. This cable here. Or the end goes into this. So that's like an adapter. <coughs> so yeah, we figured it out. So they did supply you with that. So there's your RGB stuff. Okay. These are very thick cables. That's your CPU cable. Two SATA cables. As you can see, SATA and PATA and TATA, whatever the fuck they called it. What's this one? Another CPU cable. PCIe cables for your graphics card and uh, PCIe slots and stuff. These are, these are like, I think these are the old SATA style. Are these, are these PATA? I don't know guys, but yeah. That's your main, that's just your old style hard drive stuff. You can plug into them, CD drive, hard drives. This is your other cable, and uh, the way you know which one the motherboard cable is, the main one, it's always the thickest one in the bunch, which is this one. Can you see? So that's your motherboard cable, and yeah, they're different size to everything, as you can see. So yeah, that'll go in there. That's your motherboard cable. Very thick, very good quality, very nice. Thicker is better always, remember that, guys. Okay. Kettle cable, very nice. Uh, yeah, I'll plug this in. Let's see if it blows up or not. I guess. <coughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Well, guys, we're plugged in on there. I just have to switch this on. Hopefully, nothing blows up or sets on fire or anything. Because it isn't plugged into anything. Ready, guys? Nothing happened, so maybe it does need to be plugged into stuff. Yeah, I think it needs to be plugged into something. So I'll switch the back off. So, yeah, you'll have to stay tuned for my uh, PC gaming build one. Alright, something we forgot to mention was it has over voltage protection. Uh, it has uh, over current protection as well, and uh, it has over temperature protection. So, if any of these stuff go wrong, it will over, oh, it will shut itself down instantly to prevent any damage, basically, to your components. And it's got sh short circuit protection as well, guys. So yeah, you make sure that no damage gets done to your motherboard, no damage to your parts, your expensive computer parts. At the most, there will be no damage to this as well, hopefully. But the worst case scenario, the worst thing that's going to happen is the PSU will blow up. Not blow, blow, but you know, the capacitor will blow and you'll see lots of smoke. But that's about it. That's how, that's a very good fail system. Because it keeps all your components safe. Whereas replacing one of these is cheap. Replacing a four five hundred pound CPU or a four hundred pound motherboard or a 800 pound graphics card expensive so yeah that's a very good safety system but yeah that's your worst case scenario best case scenario is this will just shut itself down and yeah you can restart it again it'll work again like normal <coughs> yeah there you go guys